According to all known laws of aviation, there is no way a bee should be able to fly. Its wings are too small to get its fat little body off the ground. The bee, of course, flies anyway, because bees do not care what humans think is impossible. These are the words that have started the greatest film humanity has ever and will ever produce. So, like your good queer, I was doing my weekly rewatch of the bee movie when a thought struck me. Remember towards the end of this movie, when there's the scene, the plane's going down, Vanessa and Barry are freaking out, and then suddenly, every single bee in the Central Park of New York City comes to their aid, lifts the plane, and helps them land safely? So I feel like the best place to start off with, can bees lift a plane as well? We have to figure out how much weight can a singular bee even carry? Turns out that your average honeybee is fairly strong. It can lift half of its own body weight. How much does a honeybee weigh? About half a gram. So that means per honeybee, we can lift a quarter of a gram if they're given it their all. So how many, how much does a plane weigh? How much is it gonna, how, ma how many bees is that gonna take? Turns out a fully loaded Boeing 747, um, fully loaded with crew, passengers, uh, cargo, luggage, snacks, drinks, like a, a, a packed flight, which the movie appeared to be a pretty, a pretty packed flight. That would end up weighing about 80,000 kilograms. And one B can only carry a quarter of a gram. So doing the math to break that down, turns out you would need 320 million bees in order to lift a plane. While that does sound like a lot of bees, if you think about it, there are 20,000 to 80,000 bees per colony. And so we'll take the average of that and say 50,000 bees per colony. And then given how many uh, bee colonies are in the state of New York, <laughs> In the state of New York, there is around uh, 24,000 colonies of bees as of uh, January of 2021 that I looked at. I can't imagine it's changed a whole lot. I just honestly couldn't be bothered to find a more updated number. I figured that was good enough. In order to get those 320 million bees, we would need to use 6,400 colonies of bees. That's 26.7% of all bees in the state of New York. There's absolutely no way all those bees could come from Central Park. You know what? We'll give the bee movie the benefit of the doubt. The bees sent out a signal, and all their buddies from most of New York were able to just quickly somehow almost teleport there and help them out. So you're like, Gray, I've collected 320 million bees. Let me out that plane so I can take off and see just how, just if I can do it. Like, let me out that plane. Let me pick it up with bees. Cut the engine. Cut the engine. We're going in on bee power. Ready, boys? We need to figure out if you can fit that many bees on a plane. That's a lot of bees, and a lot of bees is going to take up a lot of space. The length of your average honeybee is 15 millimeters, while uh, with its wings out, it has a width of around 12.7 millimeters. So... Let's just assume one of these bees is going to be a square of surface area. That would end up taking about 190 millimeters squared to contain that bee. 190 millimeters is about 0.02% of a square meter. So a single bee is not going to take up very much. But remember, we have 320 million of these little fuckers. Just these bees taking up 0.02% of a square meter, those bees are going to need 62,400 meters squared of space to fit all, all of your bees on, like, snugly. So, that's a lot of space. But, like, planes are big. Planes got a lot of space. Is plane big enough for that? So... All we gotta do is figure out the surface area of the underside of the plane, because as we can see in the movie, the, the bees are actually 
lifting up the plane uh, from the underneath. So you take the you take you can take the surface area of a wing. A wing of a Boeing seven forty seven has an area of about one hundred and two meters squared, and then the the body of a Boeing seven forty seven. Imagine the plane as just like imagine the fuselage of the plane as just one long cylinder. So the length of that cylinder is going to be around 33, 34 meters. And then the diameter of that cylinder is going to be around 11 or 12 meters. So we can use that to figure out how much uh, surface area would be on this cylinder. And then we can divide that in half to get just the bottom area. And after we go ahead and plug in all of that math, we find out that the average uh, Boeing 747 has a surface area of about uh, 303.9 meters squared, which is considerably less than the over 60,000 we need for these bees. So if you wanted to lift a bee with a plane, you're either going to need a much bigger plane that weighs the same, a lot stronger bees, or break physics, I guess. I'm really, really sorry to say, but I think the B-movie lied to us, and I know that's a shock. I know Jerry Seinfeld, that he would never, never do anything to lie to us, and I don't think this is Jerry's fault. I don't think he was aware that this math was inaccurate. And you know what? I don't think we can hold that against them. And all things considered, I think this takes the B-movie down from a perfect 10 to a 9.5, and that really hurts considering that it is you know, just a, a cultural icon across the world. I don't think there's ever been a movie that has quite touched us all like the Bee movie did. Sorry to say that bees can't lift a plane. That sucks. No, I have to be wrong. Jerry wouldn't lie to us. I must have missed something. But what? Just gotta think B. Think B. B. Honey. Supermarkets. Employees. Fencing. That's it! Hey, Hector! If we go back to the scene in the B-movie, where Barry B. Benson is trying to infiltrate the back room of the supermarket in order to find out where the honey is coming from, yes, this is the greatest movie of all time, we see him get ready for a stealth mission. Given that we can see that Barry can lift a Sharpie, which is a little over 11 grams, that is insanely stronger than what we assumed bees were. That's 44 times stronger than we assumed a bee was. And if that's the case, if these are just real chads of bees, I think they probably could lift this plane. Looks like I have to, I have to redo some math real quick. If you look at that, and we can see that Barry B. Benson chucks that Sharpie like it's no big deal. So he's probably stronger than being able to pull up 11 grams. So... I'll assume 15 grams instead. And then we see that they need to transport a lot of flowers onto this flight. And so they must have had to throw out a lot of luggage too. Actually, I'm pretty sure they show you throwing out luggage in this in the movie. So let's knock the plane down from being maximum capacity at 80,000 kilograms and instead knock it down to mid capacity at around 65,000 kilograms. If we do that, we figure out that with these new, improved, strong bees, and with this lightened plane, it goes down from taking us 320 million bees to instead just 4.33 repeating million bees. That's, that's so little in comparison. And then from there, we can figure out that 
the new surface area that they would have to take up, which in all actuality would be about 825 square meters needed. Now, I know that's more than we estimated, but I left out a few things. If we have the bees cover every inch of the plane, including around the fuselages and around the jet engines, on the corner of the fins and everything, I think there's just barely enough surface area for the bees to be able to carry this plane in this way. So, I think with the extremely wild Chad bees that Jerry Seinfeld has gifted us, and a best case scenario of a light plane and a full blanket of bees. So we're making small adjustments to the movie here, but I'm doing this for you, Jerry. I'm doing this for you. If we do that, we can see that, like, I, I think it would be possible. I think it would be possible for the B-movie bees to carry this plane, albeit... Is that another bee joke? The plane needs to be a little lighter, and... We just need the bees to cover the entire plane. They want it. They want it to be just on the bottom because that that's not nearly enough area. But I mean, in a way, bees can lift a plane. Cool. Hey, so that was my first YouTube video. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is something I plan on doing regularly. I'll have a video coming out soon about uh, why Mega Evolutions should never be returning. And I had a lot of fun making this. I, I hope to continue doing this, and if I can at least make a couple people smile, then I will, I will have done my job. And that's good. Make sure to drink a glass of water and take your meds. See you next time.